Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. With field day just around the corner, I wanted to take a few minutes today and go through what I'm going to carry this field day. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll notice that I've upgraded the bag uh, since winter field day. This is a Think Tank photo bag and it gives me a little bit more room, actually quite a bit more room, and it has some great protection for the equipment inside. I figure if it's good enough to protect photo gear, it's good enough to protect ham radio gear. So each field day, I try to come up with my own personal challenge uh, for that particular field day. In years past, the challenge might have been to build a HF uh, Go box. Uh, I know one year the challenge was to run off of batteries and solar panels. Uh, but each year I try to give myself that personal challenge so that I can learn something new that year. Uh, this year what I wanted to try to do was basically live out of this bag for a 24 hour period. So everything excluding water is going to be in the bag. Now, I will be taking along a few extra items, uh, such as a tarp for shade, a table, a chair, a few things like that, uh, basically luxury items. But if we had to, we could take off with just this backpack and operate for the 24 hour period if we just added the water to it. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the bag and see what we've got. So on the outside pocket, uh, the first thing I've got is three of these dehydrated uh, backpacking meals. So I've done a lot of backpacking over the years. Uh, these are, are nice meals to have, uh, a lot of calories, and they're fairly quick and easy to rehydrate. Uh, and you don't have to do a lot of dishes or anything like that. Boil water, pour them over into the bag, eat out of the bag, put it in the trash can. So those should work out really well. Next up on the outside of the bag is a roll of coax. I'll be using this coax for the HF antenna. And there's really no other pockets on the bag excluding this one. Uh, and it just has a rain cover for the entire pack. It came with the pack and would help protect it during a rainstorm. So now let's go ahead and dive into the bag itself. In these upper pockets here, I keep a few various things. A uh, notepad to make some notes on, write down things that I might need to, along with a few pens and a Sharpie. I've got a uh, piece of wire here that I can use as a counterpoise if needed. Uh, let's see, I've got some headphones up here. There's some really small, I believe it's RG174 coax. Uh, yeah, your losses are going to be great, but uh, if you try to run this too far, but I think this is only 20 feet, so on uh, 40 meters, losses aren't going to be too bad. And then it looks like I have an emergency poncho up there as well. In the main compartment of the pack, first thing you'll see back here is the iPad that I use um, to interface with the Raspberry Pi. So the Pi will serve a wireless hotspot. I'll be able to use this uh, with the VNC app to connect, view the screen, and control the Pi. Now, since I'm planning on running JS8 call for field day this year, I have opted for a larger keyboard. Now, this is another upgrade that I made from uh, winter field day. I was using a much larger keyboard. Uh, this is still a huge improvement over a thumb keyboard, and it gives you basically a full-size keyboard that folds up into a really compact package. It is rechargeable with USB, and that takes the same USB cable that the Raspberry Pi does, so I can recharge it in the field if need be from my primary battery. All right, so let's take a quick look at the cook system that I'm using. Uh, it's a little titanium pot with a koozie on the outside of it. Uh, inside, it's got a little pot holder so you can grab it uh, while it's hot. It's got a stove with a built-in igniter on it. I've got a little bit of aluminum foil on the bottom for a windscreen if I need it, and this stove fuel. So it's pretty quick and easy to set up. You attach the stove to the fuel canister and set your pot up on top. You're able to boil water, make coffee, 
uh, boil the water for the dehydrated meals, whatever else you might need. All right, this little Ziploc bag contains coffee. Gotta have coffee for fill day. That's a critical item. And then a few other snacks and things just in a Ziploc bag. All right, now let's get back to the radio gear. Uh, underneath that snack pack is the Dakota Lithium 10 amp hour battery that I ran during winter fill day. And it has the Guinness Sun charge controller on this side of it. Uh, had really good luck with that uh, during winter fill day and I expect it will be just as good during fill day this year. Continuing on with the power for the setup is the PowerFilm 30 watt solar panel. And this guy proved to be a real winner, both during winter fill day and during the off-grid challenge that I did. If you haven't seen that off-grid challenge, I'll leave a link to it right up at the top. It really kind of covers the uh, what this system is capable of. All right, next up, right over here, tucked away in that little section and the bag is the transformer for my antenna and a few little other odds and ends down in there. Uh, tent stakes in case I need to tie the antenna down a little bit. Uh, made up an instruction card so that if I forget or if somebody else is trying to deploy the antenna, they'll know exactly how it works. And then the hank of wire stays right here in the middle compartment. So that's the antenna that I'll more than likely be using tomorrow. All right, here we've got a roll-up J-pole antenna. And I went ahead and put an adapter on it so I could hook it up to the 857 if I wanted to. Or I can pull the adapter off and this little guy will screw right into either a Baofeng radio or the new Yezu that I picked up a few months back. So it gives us a little bit better antenna for 2 meter and 440. This bag basically houses all the cables, power cables, um, that I need for both the radio, the Raspberry Pi, uh, the adapter to go from 12 volts to 5 volts, uh, the, the solar panel cables, any kind of power cables that I need, I just got tucked away in this one bag. And then the one other thing that I keep is I keep a backup of my Raspberry Pi uh, on a separate SD card. That way, should my SD card crap out on me, I can always grab the backup and I'm right back in business. And last but not least is the radio itself. This is that new radio case that I picked up just a few months ago. I've done a complete review on this and I'll leave a link to that video up at the top. Uh, I did add the thumb screws to make it a little bit easier uh, to be able to remove the front face without needing a screwdriver. So I do have that. Uh, you've got the 857 and then the signal link. And if we flip that around, you can see the Raspberry Pi right here on back. So just got to finish wiring that up and we'll be ready to operate. So far, I'm liking this radio case pretty well. It offers a lot of protection during transport. That's one of the things I like. I like the bell that's on the bottom uh, to give it a little bit of elevation when you're operating. All right, guys, well, there's a look at what I'm going to be carrying out for fill day. I encourage you to get out and work fill day as well. It's a great opportunity to test out your portable gear. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.